3, 25, 20, 21. You heard it. Not only did you hear it, look at it now. It's at the 50-day moving average on the S&P 500. It dipped down, it tested it, and it had that bounce. Not only did it do that, it came up above the 20-day, and the 10-day will be right up there. And that will be right around, let's just call that resistance area right where I have it, at, right, right around 39.35. Okay, so S&P had a good update. It hit a bottom, 38.53 on the low, and that it did. And then, as we were hitting those bottoms, and we slightly, ever so slightly, went below that 50-day simple moving average, boom. The algos kicked into the upside, and there was a few buyers that were trying to buy the dips in certain areas. But let us not forget, there's 11 sectors in the S&P, and some of those 11 sectors are heavily weighted and underweighted. And so the ones that participated off the lows helped push us up above that 50 day and sellers did not get control to run it down so this is where we're at tomorrow is going to be the last trading day and March is going to let's call it March Madness is going to come to an end and it will and just let me tell you something bond yields 10 year yields this was not the issue today no the issue was lots of headlines and lots of things that were going on. I don't have time to go into all of them right now. Other than that rotation still continues, and it does. And there are a few of those sectors within the 11 sectors. There's a few sectors where they're heavily weighted and where they're buying based on new policies and new administration and everything else. Let us just remind ourselves on the S&P 500, when bottoms are put in, it is always, in most cases, unless you get below it, but within the S&P overall long-term bull trend, you will bounce on the first pass off of that 50-day moving average and that has been the pattern for a long time and we talk about it daily and we trade it daily the 10-week moving average the blue line is holding up quite nicely now the only drawdown right now my friends is there is still a minus 6.43 sell signal in this particular S&P 500 index trend. So we're very mindful that that 10 week moving average, he just slightly went right below it. And we talked about that that 10 week, we go back to the daily, my friends, and here we have it. That 50 day is that, that weekly moving average. And that, my friends, is very crucial and it is and the market could prove that it could bounce with those heavily weighted sectors for the s p and it did and that is a good thing and not only that is the resistance is still going to be up there no matter what and we could test it or we could break through it whatever the market conditions may be is that we have our final test intraday of the 50 day and then tomorrow we're going to see what tomorrow brings what the futures bring and are they going to continue to want to run this market higher that rotation is in play and tomorrow is what options expiration friday what does that mean it means that the call side of the market is more favorable on an inner day level than the put side. The put side of the market has been paying all week because they've been dropping hard. 
and I'll be updating individual stocks in that category. But nonetheless, my friends, good luck. Sign up, Option Trading Room. It's here for you. We have managers that are on standby, and they'll be happy to get to know you and meet you. And then you can listen to me, and you can. And you can make money in that live trading room. So if I were you, I would start heading that way, like right now I would.